gonna have a quick chat about uh, blade geometry. Yeah. Uh, we are going to start on, on, bo on both your knives with uh, a piece of steel that looks pretty much like this. All right, we'll look at a um, uh, cross section. Now we're gonna turn uh, that into a blade, and that's where we've got different different options. Yeah. All right, to make a good knife, you need three things: you need the right steel. You need the right blade geometry and the right uh, heat treatment. Uh, on a hunting utility knife, these different options, you could go with what we call a full flat. All right, so you grind all the way to the spine, which gives you a good cutting ability, but a thinner blade. That's when the thickness of your piece of steel might be taken into consideration because you could have quite a thick spine here, let's say you've got 4.2 mils, good slicing ability but you're still going to have a strong blade, or you could go with another type of blade geometry which is what we call a saber grind, when you only grind a level on a portion of your blade, which makes of course the blade a lot stronger but you do lose a bit of slicing ability yeah. the, on, on my knives I might go for this on the thin blades yeah. but I might go with that on thinner blades yeah. uh, that will make the blade quite quite stronger then there's another type of grind uh, that's a convex grind which is bit more like this, it's almost like a bullet shape, which is good for knives that will uh, be used quite heavily because you still have quite a fair bit of meat down there. Like a Yeah, uh, all, 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 all uh, heavy duty machetes, swords would have that sort of profile. Uh, of course here we leave a little bit of thickness on the cutting edge. That also will have an impact on how the knife will perform. Uh, if we magnified that. Would that one be like a fillet knife for fishing that flexes, the blade sort of flexes? Well, the, the flex comes from two, th mainly comes from the, the thinness of the blade. That's what gives it the flex. Yep. Look at, for example, an old fas fashioned uh, razor blade. Yep. It's heat treated really, really hard, but it's so thin you can still bend it. But it's pretty much the same thing with fitting knives. So. Or a boning knife. Or a boning cool. knife, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, we do leave a little bit on the cutting edge. That also will have an impact on how the knife performs. Like, if you want a really heavy duty knife, you might leave uh, 0.5 of a mil. If you want a knife that's going to cut better, but that's not going to be as strong on the cutting edge, you could very well go down to. 0.1 or 0.2 of a mil before sharpening. Uh, on yours, we're gonna go to pretty much nothing. For the shift knife. Yeah. yeah, or even have it sharp before sharpening. The, the thinner the cutting edge, the, the better. All right, so th th these are, for hunting utility knives, uh, good profiles. Now, if we look at them from the side, you will see that there's quite a difference. The full flat. <coughs> what we call your plunge lines, so that's your grind. Your grinding lines will look like this. All right, you will grind all the way up to the spine. Yeah. There's a lot more grinding. It is quite forgiving until you get there. You don't want to grind over. Because yeah. what you don't want here is if you look at it from the top, you don't want to see a step yeah. right there. All right, so there's a few little tricks there. We can stop a little bit before and blend, blend it in. This one, the saber grind, will look more like this. All right. Now, of course, there's, there's less grinding to do. But it can be quite challenging. If mistakes are made with the grind, 
that line is going to move up. Yeah. All right. This one here is a little bit more forgiving because everything blends in. All right. So we would start with something a bit like this, and and then and then we would turn that into something like this, and then if we look at a convex grind from the side, it would look a bit, a bit like this. It would blend in. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's the profiles for hunting utility knives. The, the, in um, Northern Europe, uh, Scandin in Scandinavian countries, they even have something slightly different, which is what we call a Scandi grind, which is similar to this, but that ground down to nothing, which means that, that when you sharpen your knife, that's actually what you sharpen. Yeah. Uh, it cuts well, but then you've got a very, very thin cutting edge. They're knives that they use a lot for uh, whittling and things like this. Kitchen knife, completely different. 90% of the kitchen knives you buy have that profile, which slices very well, but it's not the best. Right? They used to be slightly different, but to make their work easier, now they all do a flat grind. In the old days, they were flat and then got convexed at the bottom, which helped with the food release. That, uh, that knife I've got there is an old French knife, and, and, and that's the profile it's got. But with your knife, we're even going to um, improve on that. All right. What we want is to minimize any flat surfaces uh, as much as possible. So what, what we'll do, we will convex not only that, but we will make it slightly rhomboid. But we will thin on the back as well. On kitchen knife, of course, you want the cutting edge to be as thin as possible, but what happens further up also has a big role to play in how the knife is uh, going to perform. So the goal is to have one mil of thickness. Ten millimeter. Ten mils up. So does that mean a ten millimeter bevel? No, when, when we measure the thickness here, you want to try to have about one mil, 10 mils up from the cutting edge. Okay. All right, so that you've got a nice and thin cutting edge. Uh, all of that will have to be done after the blade uh, has been heat treated, because that's going to be so thin. Uh, the risk of uh, warping during the heat treatment is too high. So, we know what we're going to do with yours, which way you want to go? Um, just from what you've explained there, I think probably the flat grind. Full flat? Yeah. Yeah? Alright, so if we go with the full flat, then it depends. You could just go with the thinner stock or with the thicker mm. stock. It's all down to uh, personal preferences, really. Mm. Um, the, the, Let's not forget we've got the best steel that's ever been manufactured. Yeah. Right. So we can get away actually now with thinner blades than in the past. But interestingly enough, people want thicker blades. Like I see knives that are six, eight mil thick. Mm. It's just bloody ridiculous. Mm. Right. At the end of the day, it's not a pry bar, it's just a bloody knife. Uh, so. As far as I'm concerned, uh, while, you, while you will have a, a stronger knife mm. doing with that, yeah. you will have a knife that will slice better if you go with the thinner stock. Yeah. But overall, at the end of the day, it's not going to make a big, big difference. Mm. It might be just slightly heavier, but we're not talking a uh, uh, big, big difference. Fish, right, fish, uh, probably more fish, See. Yeah. Personally, but it, that's me, right? So I'm not mm. telling you what to do. No, no. I, I don't. 
And I very rarely work with uh, still over three or three point five. Yeah. Right. Like uh, I, f I finished uh, this knife, and uh, I think it's two point eight or something like that. Yeah. Uh, but that's good enough. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Nice little etch on it too. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty. And that's Nitro V, isn't it? That's Nitro V, yep, yep, mm. yep. Is that how you tell the sharpness? My granddad always said... No. No, you just rather yeah, than shave your, your arms. Well, if it grips on your... If you <laughs> that's right. that's nail, how my granddad used to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said if it, it grips, grips on, on your nail. nail. Yeah, yeah, but you'll find that knife makers have a bold... Bold arms. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. So, cool. What do you think? Oh, I think it's. No, I'm happy with the thinner. The thinner? The thinner style. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. So now we will get everything sorted. We can start drawing, grinding. Get into it. Get into it. Yes. That's a wrap. Uh,